Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a what's in my bag video. I am using the La Sport Sack Small Clio and this is in the prints A La Prima Floral. And here is the tag. I got this off of Poshmark and I mainly got it for the print. I saw the print and I was like, I'm in love with that print. It is this very pretty like sky blue background and then you have all of these really lovely ditzy type florals. They're maroon color, um, like a, a luscious pink and then like a pale pink color. You've got teal ones and green ones and light blue ones and even like these coral orange ones and I just thought that this print just stood out it was so pretty it's so soft and just a beautiful print I would say this is one of my favorite prints from the sport sack that I have ever seen and then again this bag style is called the small Clio and I am gonna bet to guess that this is a pretty popular bag style because I've actually seen this bag style a ton and so many different patterns. I don't know if it's still current. I don't know if it's retired. Um, but this is kind of an, a newish print, I think. So I that kind of tells me that this is a current style. But I just wanted to give it a try. And I have only been in it for, this will make it like a day. So I just got the bag. But I already love it because I, I did get to use it um, and a couple errands yesterday and it's like a, an amazing size it's so comfortable it's a very very lightweight silhouette too i mean the sport sacks um signature ripstop nylon material is like not nothing at all i mean it's even i would venture to say lighter than kipling's crinkle nylon it's just it's very lightweight it's airy and it just feels good on the body and it, it's just great i love this material I also really like the width of the strap that they gave for this bag. It's a little bit, um, so I did bring out a few bags to compare this, this bag to for size references, for size reference. Um, it's a, the strap width on this one is a little bit wider than the strap that comes with the small Jenny. So this is the small Jenny strap. And then this is the small Clio strap. And so you'll see that the small Clio has more width to it. And, you know, since it's a bigger bag, it makes sense that it does have that um, wider strap. I love that. It's so comfortable. Again, this bag is already so lightweight. You're basically just carrying what's inside of the bag because the bag itself doesn't really weigh very much. So um, before I start taking stuff out, I thought I would just show you what it looks like on the body. Um, this style is very similar to like a hobo style bag um, and, and the shape of it. It's like a great size. I don't think it's too big. It's not too small. I think what, what makes it a great size is that they gave you a really good base with this bag. Um, so say if they it, it was instead like this width instead of this whole thing, you wouldn't be able to fit much in here. But it is so great. It's so comfortable. It's so lightweight. And I just love the way it looks. It's like not too wide, I feel. It's not too long either. Um, I am a, I'm a fan. Well, I kind of waffle back and forth. But I am overall, you know, I, I like Vera Bradley's Triples of Hipster. I know I'm picking on Vera Bradley's Triples of Hipster again. Um, but one thing I do not love about it is that I feel like it's so north-south. And this kind of like has that like square look. So it's like not too north south, which I really like about a crossbody. I like when a crossbody has like more of like squarish dimensions rather than like one big long rectangle, if you know what I'm saying. So that's what I really like about this type of crossbody. Okay, so let's get inside and talk about the features. It's a pretty simple bag, but it does have some good organizational features. You do have the La Sport Sac uh, logo banner going across the front here, and there's actually a hidden recessed zipper pocket here. That's one thing that I love about bags is when they have good outside organization. I at least want one pocket for my phone 
and or my keys. And this is just great because this is a huge inside pocket. It expands the entire width here from corner to corner. Um, and so I have my keys down inside there. I know it's kind of hard to see. There we go. But it's also perfect for any size smartphone that you have. I have a iPhone 13 mini. It's going to fit perfectly in there. No problem. But if you have like a, you know, one of the bigger phones, Samsung, iPhone, whatever it is, it's going to fit inside of that pocket with these. So that's one thing I really love about this bag is that, you know, it's not one of those small like cell phone slim pockets that your phone either fits into or it doesn't fit into. It's a giant slip that you can use for whatever, and it's protected with a recessed zipper. But if you want something even more quick access than that, just turn it around to the back, and they give you a giant open slip pocket. This one does not have a zipper, it doesn't have a magnet, it doesn't have Velcro, nothing. It's just one big open pocket, which I like because if I'm in a bigger hurry, I'm not going to bother unzipping that front zipper. I'll just throw my phone back there because it's going to fit back there as well. Um, and I also have my, and of course it's going to be harder to see, but I have hand sanitizer and chapstick back there and that fits perfectly. So with the strap on one side, it's directly stitched to the bag. And then on the other side, if you're someone that likes to hang your hand sanitizer off the bag or you're a bag charm fan, they did put a uh, metal grommet uh, type of hardware on there so you can hang things off of your bag if you want to. You have a single zipper pull for the main opening, which is really all you need. And then you're able to see everything really well because this bag opens up nice and wide so you're able to see things. Plus, this is a pattern that gives you a lighter lining. So um, I will say some sport sack patterns, you have to be careful if you're not a fan of darker linings because there are patterns that give you a black lining. I do have a couple of little sport sack bags that have a black lining. Um, and that's not always the greatest thing, but if you are someone who likes a lighter lining, just you know make sure, and you're shopping on like a third party site, make sure you, you see all the pictures. This one has a nice like dusty pink uh, light lining so you're able to see everything. In terms of the interior organization, there isn't too much. It's like the typical Le Sport Sac configuration, which it's a slip pocket, and on top of that is a zipper pocket. So that's pretty typical for most Le Sport Sac bags that I've encountered at least. So in that slip pocket, I have a mini notebook, a pack of gum, and a almost empty pack of tissues. And then in that zipper pocket in front of the slip, I have a mask. So that is all that is in there, but you can of course fit more if you would like. And then as for the main interior, I'll go ahead and start taking some stuff out here. I have my Vera Bradley Lavender Meadow eyeglass sleeve for my sunglasses. You've seen this before. It holds my um, pepper spray. It's Vera Bradley Petite Neon Blooms. Wet wipes and my Vines floral pouch with little essentials inside. I also have my little lotion in there. And then these last couple items are all butterfly items, actually. I have my Lug Butterfly Gray Mini Choo Choo. Oops. And then these two items I'll stop and talk about for a couple seconds. Um, let me put this bag down. Sorry, I'm shaking the table so much here. Um, this is the new Vera Bradley print. This is Bloom Bloom Navy. Bloom Boom Navy. I can never say that right. This is one of my favorite patterns that Vera has released recently. I love the aerial pattern, of course, and that's like a special Disney pattern, but I would say this is my favorite like regular pattern that they have released. It's gorgeous. You have a navy background and it's very delicate and most of the florals and even like the, the butterfly is outlined in this really dusty light gray color which kind of gives almost like a little bit of a fuzzy appearance to the illustrations and it kind of reminds me of like a foggy beautiful morning before you know everybody is waking up all of the creatures in the forest and in the plants are kind of waking up and um it's just kind of just gives me that calm beautiful vibe 
I love the way that things are drawn in this pattern. I love the, the background, gray illustrations of the leaves and grass and things like that. This item is called the Deluxe, I think it's the Deluxe RFID Zip ID. Originally, I wasn't really a fan of these, but I since came over to the dark side and became a, a great fan of these, mainly for two reasons. Believe it or not, I'm not like super hyped up about the RFID. Um, oh, well, that's not the reason why I love this. I do like RFID items, don't get me wrong. Um, but the main reason I love this is because instead of using the like the regular size square quilting, Vera Bradley uses the giant squares on this, which this item is so plush to the touch because of that. It's so soft and squishy. And I really like that quilt style. And this uh, deluxe RFID zip ID is the one of the few items that they use that giant square quilting on. If you get the regular zip ID in this pattern, it's going to be the regular size square quilting. I don't have anything um, in front of me. Oh, actually, I do have something that has the regular square quilting, which is my uh, Cloud Vine Mini Glenna. So you can see the difference. So this is like the regular size squares, and then this one is the macro, the big squares. So I love when they use that, especially on the smaller items, because, you know, this is my wallet. I'm grabbing this, and it's just so nice to squish. And then the second reason why I love this item so much is because they give you two essentially to uh, ID windows. Now I do have my license in here, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. But, so on the outside here, you'll see I have a picture, and then if you use the snap button, you can open it up, and then your license or another picture can go right in this. The way you access, of course, both sides, because it's like a dual window, you can just slide, you know, front to back your two items in this slot here, and then you have that. The RFID card slots are actually right here, so you have one and two. I do not know, this is something I'm not sure of, if this inside is RFID. I can't remember. I did a video on this type of wallet like a long time ago in Seahorse, of course. I'm sorry, I just kicked the stand again. Um, and I don't remember if just these card slots are RFID or if the inside is also RFID. I'm not sure. But here is your regular zip ID part uh, where you can have your cards. You do have like a divider here. So I have like my insurance cards here and then like coupons and debit card, credit cards back here with some change. And this is like my perfect wallet lately. I just, I love this item so much. It's just so pretty. And I'm so happy that they made this and Bloom Boom Navy because the other pattern that they released, the main pattern is Bloom Boom. So that like came in a lot of items. Actually, it did not come in the Zip ID or the Deluxe Zip ID to my knowledge. I'm sorry, I keep bumping the table. I need to back up away from it. Yeah, so Bloom Boom released in like almost everything minus a few things like the Zip ID, probably because the flowers are so huge. And this is almost like the ditzy version, like the zoom in behind the big flowers. This is the life behind the flowers. And this came in some items, like you can get this pattern in the bucket crossbody bag, which I did get and I will do a video on that. I got it in this. I got uh, the, I got a few items that are coming from the recent sale. I got the packable blanket, the medium cosmetic and the regular zip ID. A good friend sent me a gift card. You know who you are. Thank you so much for that. And so I, I used that gift card to buy those other three items that I just listed. And it also came in a Weekender, which I really, really want. I'm going to wait for it to go on sale. And I sent in some thread up packages, so I'll have some gift cards coming. And I might use the gift cards on that Weekender. Um, because I, I did part with a lot of my travel bags that were kind of getting worn down. Or I just wasn't using anymore, so I could potentially get a travel bag. But anyway, I digress. Um, this did come in a few different styles, but not all of the different styles, just some sample styles. And I'm really glad that it came in this item because I love it. So the next item that I wanted to show you is a vintage item. This is the Vera Bradley coin purse and the pattern is Pink Pansy. I think this came out in spring of 03, I believe. 
Um, and I saw this on Poshmark. When I saw it, I was like, that butterfly in the trim there looks extremely familiar. And it's familiar because it's the same butterfly that is on Bloom Boom Navy. It's the same illustration, just different colors. And then I thought, well, in this new release, they brought back a print called Kinda Catherine. And I'll stick a screenshot of that print right here. So Catherine was a pattern um, that was out back in the day. I can't remember when, but if you go to the uh, Retired Patterns Archive on the Vera Broadley website, it'll tell you. And uniquely enough, they brought that pattern back and named it Kinda Catherine in just a few select styles. Again, I'll just put one of them here. Um, and I'll probably put the bucket bag version because that's one where you can easily see that big border trim at the bottom. And you'll see those butterflies. And this pattern is very similar to Kinda Catherine. It's like a pink version of it. You can see those little dizzy flowers are just like the Kinda Catherine. And then just look at that gorgeous, the bouquets and the trim and that butterfly. Well, this also has bouquets. I mean, I think the details in the bouquets might be a little bit different, like the florals are done a little bit differently if, we, if we're just looking at the bouquets there. But the butterflies are identical, pretty much. So, I don't know, I saw this, like, right before this pattern was about to come out on Poshmark, and I was like, that is so cute. She had it listed for some, like, really great price. I don't know, it was like 10 or $8, and it, it was new with tags. I have the tags in here. And I just, I thought that was so cute. The zipper pulls also has that pretty trim. There's the back. I love, I even love the flowers. And the interior is absolutely gorgeous. It's this like really light blue background with these little green ditzy flowers with yellow in them. And they are so pretty. And I'm just using this to house my AirPods. Uh, but here's the tag. It's one of their vintage tags and it doesn't have like the name of the, the pattern or anything on it but it is pink pansy so yeah super cute and I thought you know those are so cute together and I have three butterfly accessories <laughs> right now I've got the uh, butterfly gray pink pansy and then bloom bloom navy and my little small Cleo so yeah, I love this bag. I Again, I've had it for a day and I've used it just like on two errands, but I had it on crossbody the whole time. It was really comfortable, really easy to get in the main interior and like grab my wallet out, really easy to put it back. You know, this bag is a little bit bigger than some of the other bags I was using, um, you know, in previous weeks, like the small Jenny. But my stuff, and I'll go ahead and load it back up here so you can kind of see again what my stuff looks like inside. But my stuff has some good space in here. Things aren't falling all over the place. Like, there's plenty of room for everything to coexist. Um, you know, things aren't super tight. It's just everything kind of exists very comfortably in this bag. And things are really easy to find in this bag. I just, I love that about this. I love that it's a great size. It's a great shape and it's a comfortable silhouette. So I'm trying to just like get it completely open so you can see. So you can see all my stuff inside. Again, it's so easy just to like reach down and grab. And if for some reason I needed to throw extra stuff inside, like an extra pouch or two, I mean, there's plenty of room. I mean, there's plenty of space up top. And it's just, it's just like a great like little bag. It's so adorable. So if you like, you know, simple bags that have like moderate to great organization, because I would say, you know, this has... In total, including exterior and interior pockets, it's got four pockets. It's got the two on the outside, the two on the inside. Um, but if you're someone who likes little pouches like I do, and you can throw your little, you know, headphones and your little cosmetics or receipts or whatever and other little pouches, you're going to love this bag because it's not one of those bags where it's like, it's so thin. It's like there's no base that you're not going to be able to get any pouches in it. Also, if you're someone who likes a flat crossbody, because I know there are some people out there that don't like their crossbodies to have a big base, and I get you, I understand you. Um, I think there's a time and place for like that for me personally. Like I, I do like 
my crossbodies sometimes be completely flat. But this one is not bulky. Like, it is such, it, I mean, first of all, it's not super long. You know, it's not hugely north-south, right? And it does, it can take a little bit of a slouch to it sometimes if you wanted it to. But for the most part, I mean, it'll stay like that. And it's, I feel like, you know, I have hips that stick out a little bit. And even though it's sitting on top of my hips, it's not, it's not crazy bulky at all. And it's so lightweight. I mean, we're talking about the Sports Sax Ripstop Nylon here. It's extremely lightweight. And guess what? I'm filming, I'm filming today and it's raining out. I feel like the past like three or four times I filmed videos, it has been pouring rain. And so like... I, I would also love to use, like, my bucket crossbody and, like, all this other stuff that, you know, is not in nylon. But I'm not going to take my bucket crossbody out into the rain when i got to do errands. You know, this is easy to wipe off or, you know, just let the water beat off and it's not going to soak into my bag and not going to ruin my stuff. Where it will do that with a cotton bag. So, if you're wondering why I'm not wearing my bucket crossbody, that's one of the reasons why. Because it's been raining for weeks. So, I'll just do a quick comparison. Um, if anybody out there has the small Jenny, this is what the bag looks like in comparison. So, it's not much bigger. I mean, it, it fits more, but it's not, like, hugely different. So, there is a comparison there. I also brought out my mini Glenna. So, you can see it's kind of on par with the mini Glenna in terms of, like, I know this is like squished, but even in terms of height and base size, it's very similar to the Mini Lana. I mean, even if you think about it with the outside slip pockets, I mean, the only thing is this has the handles too, the shoulder handles or grab handles. And then I also brought out my bucket crossbody and you'll see that this is taller. I even think this has a bigger base. Oh yeah, a way bigger base. So yeah, I love this bag. It's so pretty. I just love the pattern. It's so pretty. It's so happy. And yeah, so that's the bag I'm going to be using for a little bit and or for however long. We'll see how, you know, I love switching bags. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry for bumping my table so much. I'm thinking about not even uploading this because I bumped the table so many times. But um, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you have a great weekend. Bye.